Chico Lizarraga here, Director of Player Development for the Atlanta Lightning. Today we're going to take you through a drill that we call the flow drill. The setup for the flow drill can either be done with a normal base or a normal stance, and or I like to do it with my hitters with our feet together just to create a little more separation in the swing. Now, when we go to do the flow drill, when we're performing the flow drill, a few things are happening here. Number one, we're trying to create a little rhythm with our hands. So as you can see here, I'm starting to create a little flow. The cap of the bat is always pointed down. So we're almost rocking it like a baby back and forth, rocking it back towards the catcher, then towards the pitcher, back towards the catcher, then towards the pitcher. And we're just creating a little flow here, trying to get our hands more involved within the swing. Okay, so for me, we're just going to go one forward, one back, one forward, hands go back, move forward, swing. The purpose of the flow drill is mainly to create a little rhythm with the hands, to get our hands a little more activated, a little more involved. Again, to create a little separation between the lower and the upper half. So however much move I have forward towards the ball, I kind of want that same amount of stretch or move away from the ball with my hands or my upper half. So since we're in the Atlanta area, I like to think of Matt Olson with this drill, right? His hands start away from his body and the barrel of the bat just kind of flows on and around, right? So he's creating these, this rhythm or this flow with his hands on and around, okay? So for me, we're going to start tall. I'm just going to go back and forth once or twice, and then I'll take a swing, okay? So here we go. Towards the pitcher, catcher, pitcher, catcher, 